Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be all about renewing your P.O. box. And so if you are interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So I am uh, currently on a portion of my email because I want you all to see how I was notified when my P.O. box uh, was actually up for renewal. And so I received this email just a few days ago and it is going, it actually went to my work email address, which is bad chick hair extensions. Uh, and so I thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of go over the renewal email with you, to go over the renewal methods and to explain a little bit about some of the new services that USPS is going to be offering. And so as you can see here, uh, it does state in the uh, title of the email, USPS PO boxes renewal payment due. I don't know why I just said title of the email, but in the subject portion. Um, but yes, so pretty much I made a video about, I think it was like three months ago, just going over the benefits and the perks surrounding having a PO box for your business. If you haven't watched that video, I strongly suggest that you check it out. That video is listed in my playlist and it's under the playlist for um, starting your business. So make sure that you check that out along with a lot of other videos that I have. But having a PO box for your business is really, really important, especially if you want to pretty much protect yourself, uh, keep yourself private. Um, not really keep yourself private, but keep your home address and your personal information private. Um, when you are running a business, you do have to keep in mind, like I mentioned in that video, that you're not just selling to friends and family. Uh, there is a great chance that you're going to be expanding your business and actually selling to people that you've never met. And although we want to believe that everyone has great, great intentions, and a lot of people do, we also can't be naive to the fact that some people don't have the best intentions. And so we just want to make sure that we're protecting ourselves. And a P.O. box is a great way to do that. If you've been following my channel, then you do know that I have a hair company by the name of BadShakeHair.com, where I do offer drop shipping services as well as wholesale services for people that are selling hair. And so if you are selling hair or any other type of product, if you don't have a P.O. box, I definitely recommend that you invest in one and not send out your products from your home address just for your safety. Um, and also to make, you know, for that more professional touch, you know what I mean? And so when you do sign up for your P.O. box, um, I did get a comment under the video that I created a few months ago, just going over the benefits on P.O. boxes. And the comment stated something along the lines of um, she didn't explain how to sign up for a P.O. box. And when they said, you know, she didn't explain, they were referring to me. And I apologize if I missed that portion. So I'm going to just kind of touch back over it now. It's very, very easy to apply for a P.O. box. All you have to do is go to your post office and grab an application to apply or go online and apply. Um, choose the size of your P.O. box and make your payment. And that's pretty much it. And so once you do that, I believe on the application, you get an option to choose if you're going to renew your P.O. box every six months or annually. So every year. Don't quote me on that. I just I, I can't remember exactly what the application looks like, but I'm pretty sure it gave you those two options. And so typically I choose to renew my P.O. box every six months. That's just what I've been doing. And so I'm going to go over some of the options for you to make your payment to renew your P.O. box. So the first option that they have here is pay now. So pay now uh, entails you signing into USPS.com and access your P.O. box uh, online account to make a one time payment. So if you do not have a USPS account already set up, then I recommend that you do that. Um, if you are shipping out hair extensions or any other product and you're using the post office, that website, USPS.com, is it, it's going to probably become your best friend. I've made a video where uh, going over how you can order supplies right from shipping supplies right from the post office website. Um, you know, also, if you have like a claim or a missing package that needs to be tracked or that you need to file a claim on, uh, say one of your customers 
you send them their, their package to the address that they had on the order, but something went wrong with the address. Either they moved or maybe they misspelled the address because they just moved and they weren't familiar with the street name or maybe... Um, I don't know, USPS for some reason has the address undeliverable. You just want to make sure that you have a way to track that package without necessarily having to call the 1-800 customer care number. You know, you can go right in your account, find out a little bit more information and submit any claims that you need to right there. So definitely, you know, go to USPS.com and create an account if you don't already have one. But that's the first option that they give you. So pay now, signing into your account and making a one-time payment. Now, the next option is pay at a self-service kiosk, which is also known as SSK. You can find an SSK at find a kiosk. So by clicking that link or by downloading the USPS mobile application at usps.com forward slash mobile forward slash info dot htm. Now, I've never... I've never seen a, an, an SSK uh, in real life, um, <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm sure it, it's similar to, you know, kiosk that you see in the store. Uh, I typically go to the same post office to ship orders and to check my PO box and, you know, the post office that I go to, it's a fairly small post office. Um, and so I, they, they just, they, they may not have the kiosk there, but if you do want to check, or if I ever wanted to check to see where a kiosk is, um, I'll just go ahead and click the link and find out more information. Uh, one of the, I do want to say this, if you do want to receive this email, then when you are signing up for your PO box, make sure that you put down your business email address so that you can be notified as well when your PO box is up for renewal. And so, you know, you'll receive this information and you'll be able to go ahead and just click the links and find, you know, a payment method that works best for you. Now, another way that you can make your, your payment to renew your P.O. box is pay by mail. So send a check or money order payable to U.S. Postal Service to the postmaster where your P.O. box is located. Include your P.O. box number on the face of the check. So if you're someone that likes to pay the traditional way, which is, you know, mailing a check, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're like, hey, I really don't want to log in to USPS.com. I really don't want to use a self-service kiosk. I prefer to go ahead and send in a check or money order. You definitely have the option to do that. Just make sure that you're following the instructions and make sure that you are um, putting, you know, making the check or money order payable to U.S. Postal Service um, where your post P.O. box is located and also including your post office uh, or P.O. box number, excuse me, on the face of the check. Now, the last option that they give us is paying in person. So you can pay at the post office where your P.O. box is located using cash, check, credit card, or debit card. This is the way that I typically renew my post office uh, box or P.O. box. I typically just go in, you know, on a day that I'm either shipping out orders or a day where I'm going to pick up items from my P.O. box. I'll just go and I'll, you know, kind of just get everything out the way. I'll pick up the um, items that are in my P.O. box, I'll mail out the orders, and then I'll go ahead and renew my P.O. box. Everything's handled and, you know, everything's done. Now, you do want to make sure that you're staying on top of your renewal because the last thing that you want is for your post office box or P.O. box to expire. And, you know, you, you know, your customers have that P.O. box in their mind um, and then, you know, it's no longer available. Or even worse, say... Um, Say you, you shipped out an order and you're thinking everything's fine because you're sending out the order to the address that, you know, your customer placed on their on your website. And then for some reason, the order isn't deliverable. And so, you know, the post office is wanting to return it back to sender. But the P.O. box is no longer yours because you didn't renew it. So it's like you're going to have to go through more steps to try to find your package, figure out where it's at. And it's just it's, it's something that can definitely be avoided. And so if you can avoid it, then my advice would be to avoid it. So make sure that you're staying on top of that. Now, also at the bottom of the email, um, I do have a little bit more information. It does say new at your location. At least one of the following enhanced services is available. So real mail notification where you uh, receive email or text email or text when new mail is in your box which is really, really cool. I, I'm going to check on this as well when I go into the post office because I would love to receive an email or a text when I have 
items in my P.O. box. I would love that. Also, uh, street addressing, which allows private carrier package delivery. That sounds interesting as well. And signature on file, easy pickup for some signature items. There is no extra charge for these enhancements. Visit your post office to sign up for these services today. These services do not apply to caller service and group e-box customers. So this is just a, you know, a little bit more information. Uh, the email is just kind of giving us um, a list or you know a, a few other services that the post office is offering or could be offering. Um, the one that sticks out to me, like I mentioned, is the real mail notification because I always like to be alerted with my mail. I want to be alerted, you know, when it's received by my customers. I want to be alerted, uh, you know, if there's an issue, if it's coming back to me, if, if there's something in my P.O. box, I just want to stay on top of everything. So that's definitely a service that I'm going to be looking into. And then at the bottom, it just kind of closes out by explaining you are receiving this renewal email because you provided an email address at the time you applied for your P.O. box. So like I mentioned, make sure that you are putting down your business email address so that you can receive email notifications when it is time to renew. These renewal emails will continue annually or biannually unless you want them discontinued. Um, yeah, and it says just please visit the post office where your P.O. box is located or send an email to the uh, Internet customer care center at and then it goes into that so i really hope this video helped i just wanted to kind of go over the email and explain ways that you can renew your p.o box and just you know in general how the email is going to look and go over that with you all if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye